The question is, uh, what is the difference between unconventional and conventional oil and gas prospects? And I guess the easiest way to answer that is conventionally geologists have always searched for places where oil and gas has been pooled up and is, is available in large, I don't like to say like caverns or anything down there because it's not like that. They're, they're held in sandstones and rocks that are porous, uh, but they're held in a pretty restricted area. Shales are the actual source rocks. Okay, they're the stuff where the oil and gas is being, they're the kitchen, all right? That's where the stuff's being cooked. Sandstones are the pantry. That's where you store the stuff that's cooked already. The problem with the shale is it's not permeable. The, the, the oil, it's being cooked in there, but unless there's a fracture like this, it can't get out. You drill horizontally, you turn the bit, and you drill horizontally. And you start drilling, 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 drilling. You've got a kilometer of hole going along here now. Then you go to the end of that hole and you start fracturing it. Crack, and you do it again. You crack, crack, and you do it all the way along that whole thing. You've just busted the shit out of a kilometer of the stuff. Yeah. And all of a sudden, seven, eight, a thousand barrels a day is coming through that hole. It's called an unconventional oil play, and it, it really is a, it's on the forefront of, of what we're doing, you know, down on the East Coast in New Zealand right now. We're just not waiting for it, like I said, to get into reservoirs. We're going down and taking it before it's ready to go out. The unconventional potential reserves in the world today are about 3.6 trillion barrels. Uh, that's opposed to the 1.2 trillion of more conventional type reserves we think are left. So we've created artificial permeability in the reservoir uh, that wasn't there before. And that's really what's made the economic difference of allowing us to, to flow economic amounts of oil out of these reservoirs. Uh, that's really made this play exciting in, in the world today. And, and that's exactly what we'd like to do here in New Zealand.